Did you help Kim release her tape? <laughs> No. No. Interview Chris Jenner has recently made a surprising admission about a long-standing rumor. She has confessed to leaking the infamous Kim Kardashian and Ray J tape. This revelation supports what many had long suspected, that Chris was the mastermind behind the scandal that thrust her family into the spotlight. Let's delve into the details of Chris's confession and how it all unfolded. The controversy surrounding the Kim Kardashian scandal had seemed to quiet down until it was reignited by a lie detector test Kris Jenner took on Asterisk, the Late Late Show with James Corden. During her appearance, Kris was subjected to a lie detector test where the key question was whether she had any involvement in leaking Kim Kardashian's notorious tape. Kris vehemently denied any involvement, asserting, I swear to tell the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. However, it's important to consider that talk shows, especially those involving lie detector tests, are often heavily scripted and planned. The questions and segments are usually predetermined, and lie detector results are not always reliable. Typically, lie detector tests on TV are conducted off-camera beforehand, with the results analyzed before the on-air segment. The questions asked during the show are often repeated, and the reactions may be staged. While the host and participant may not know the results, the interpreter of the results usually does. In addition to the lie detector test, there have been reports of Chris discussing the tape during a family dinner. This adds another layer to the ongoing speculation about her role in the scandal. And we made that little yeah. tape because mm -hmm. we decided it was a good idea. One more beer for you. But were yeah. you really Honestly, you God, give me this glass of beer. Is it's possible that Kris Jenner already knew the outcomes of her lie detector test before taking it on air, or the entire segment could have been staged. Regardless, this segment has stirred significant controversy, especially from Ray J, Kim Kardashian's ex. Ray J went live on Instagram from a private screening room on Saturday night to address the ongoing controversy surrounding Kim Kardashian. During his live stream, he presented alleged text exchanges with Kanye West, demonstrating Kanye's willingness to comply with his requests. Ray J claimed that Kanye had asked for contracts related to the tape, suggesting that Kim didn't want people to know she had signed off on the content. He also shared a contract with Vivid Entertainment, alleging that Kim had signed it as well. For me, I've always just tried to keep a positive attitude with everything that was thrown at me and thrown my way. And I think, you know, I, you know, I, I can, I can, um, I can make mistakes. I can take the hit, you know what I'm saying? And I'll just make the adjustments along the way to get better. And that's how I had to look at that. That's how I had to look at a lot of shit that was happening um, as I progressed and then degressed at the same time. Like I was going like this, just floating through these vortexes of like, just unbelievable, like fun and trouble, but it's not bad trouble. It's like, it's like great trouble, right? So people are doing people wrong. That's bad people. And I like to, bullies, I like to, to get on them, right? But Is then- Is Chris Jenner a bully though? During his presentation, Ray J accused Chris Jenner of negotiating the release of the tape. He claimed that Vivid Entertainment purchased three tapes and that Chris selected the one she believed would portray her daughter in the best light. Ray J urged his fans to call for responses and apologies from the Kardashians, asserting that they had wronged him. Hey, that was right now days nah, 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 of, of, of reality too, because it was a full like thing. Nope. I had a full nah, production. Nah, <laughs> I mean, man. Shout out to all my people in Cabo that did grip. No, everything. <laughs> no, yeah, that was. I mean, it was it was like commercial break. <laughs> Man, it's all a blur. <laughs> Ray J's frustration was evident during his presentation when he struggled to find his other phone and had trouble locating his DMs with Kim Kardashian. The live feed ended shortly after his difficulties. Later, he posted a 44-minute video revisiting the DMs to confirm that Kim hadn't blocked him. He also revisited the vivid contract and discussed potential lawsuits against the Kardashians. Ray J concluded by stating he had more documents to reveal and declared, This ain't over. In the first episode of The Kardashians, Kim Kardashian shared a distressing moment when her six-year-old son, Saint, came across a clickbait image on Roblox suggesting the release of a new tape. 
This incident prompted Kim to contact her lawyer to take legal action against Roblox. My cry face, and then I looked at it, and it said something super inappropriate, like Kim's news tape. No, it was an inappropriate thing. Later in the series, Kim Kardashian revealed that Kanye West had retrieved the original footage from Ray J to protect their children. However, Ray J disputed Kim's account on Instagram, insisting it was false and misleading. He expressed frustration over the ongoing misrepresentation, clarifying that the publicly released tape was filmed in Cabo, while other tapes, which he claims were stored by Kim in a Nike shoebox under her bed, never left her possession. Ray J emphasized that he never had any of the tapes during their relationship and denied any involvement in leaking the footage. Ray J was particularly upset when Asterisk the Kardashian's Asterisk on Hulu suggested he might have more compromising footage of Kim. He vehemently denied this, recounting how he had met with Kanye West and voluntarily handed over a laptop containing private photos and videos from their relationship. According to Ray J, this gesture was meant to alleviate Kim's concerns, not to act as blackmail, as the show implied. He is my boy. I love Kanye now. We got a chance to, like, uh, just understand each other and understand the plan and understand what can and can't be and what happened and, and what's now. And so, you know, we, we good. We good. Really good. Despite his initial partnership with the Kardashians, Ray J has repeatedly found himself at the center of blame, which has significantly tarnished his reputation over the years. Meanwhile, the Kardashians have continued to profit from the scandal, while Ray J has had to continually defend his honor and assert the truth. We're all still making money, Ray J pointed out, highlighting the ongoing financial benefits the Kardashians reap from the tape. This stands in stark contrast to their public defamation of him, painting him as the villain while they continue to thrive in the public eye. Where, where were you the moment that you found out that Ray J is on tape having sex? It was so long ago, all I remember is how it smells. Ray J has alleged that Kris Jenner orchestrated the release of the tape to propel her daughter Kim Kardashian to fame, drawing a parallel to how Paris Hilton's notoriety grew following her own scandal. According to Ray J, Chris was heavily involved in the decision-making process, even negotiating the deal with Vivid Entertainment. He claims that Chris reviewed all three tapes and selected the one that would best enhance Kim's public image, ultimately choosing the one filmed in Cabo because it presented her in a more favorable light. Kim Kardashian got her handwriting and her fingerprints all over my contract. When you look at the two, when you look at my signature and you look at her signature on my deliverables, that should say, tape number one tape number two and guess what the third tape or the second they've been trying to play me on that shit called santa barbara her mama made us go shoot it for safety she watched the motherfucker and said hey we're gonna go with the first one because the first one is better it gives my daughter a better look than the second one that i made y'all go do but you watched it and made a decision and then you get on whatever show you was on and take a lie detector test with a fraud in his Instagram live sessions, Ray J expressed his frustration with the Kardashian narrative, which consistently casts him as the sole culprit behind the tape's release. He explained that the tape deal was a collaborative effort, yet he has been left to bear the blame. Ray J alleges that Kris Jenner's strategy was deliberate. By releasing the tape, she could capitalize on the ensuing media frenzy to elevate Kim to household name status, similar to how Paris Hilton, already a close friend of Kim, had gained significant attention from her own scandal. I, I don't even know. It's, 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 it's still being, it's, it's still making money now to this day. Like, yeah, it's, it is, but. It's been lucrative for both of y'all though. Put it like this. If what they saying I did mm -hmm. is true. Yes. Then why didn't you never sue me? Mm. The original tape featuring Kim Kardashian and Ray J was reportedly filmed during a trip to Cabo in 2004. Their relationship, which lasted from 2002 to 2006, only became public in 2007 when rumors about the tape began to circulate. Kim's attorney at the time, Stephen CTS, attempted to block its release through legal channels but was unsuccessful. The tape? Titled Kim Kardashian's Superstar Asterisk, was eventually released by Vivid Entertainment on March 21, 2007, despite Kim's efforts to prevent it. Stephen Hirsch, the founder of Vivid Entertainment, stated that neither Kim nor Kris Jenner was initially involved in the deal when the footage was presented to him. 
Both Kim and Ray J had to agree to the release, reportedly receiving around $5 million. Hirsch noted that Kim opposed the release vehemently, describing it as one of the most challenging deals they had negotiated. Beyond the tape, tensions between Ray J's family and the Kardashians have been strained. Ray J's mother, Sonia Norwood, even sued Kim, Khloe Courtney, and Rob Kardashian for alleged credit card theft, though the case was later dismissed. How did you as a family, but Sonia, really you as the mother, feel about the Kim Kardashian, Ray J tape? Because I haven't seen you since then, so I know right. this is old business. Okay, it is old business, and, and at some point we're going to get beyond this, hopefully. Yes. America. Uh -huh. The Kardashians premiered in April. The tape quickly became a key storyline in the first episode. Kim was taken aback when her son Saint showed her a pop-up featuring her famous crying face and a purported offer for a new tape. She immediately engaged her lawyers, insisting that no such tape existed. In episode 2, Kim informed Chloe, Courtney, and Chris that someone was claiming to have additional footage from Santa Barbara. Determined to safeguard her privacy, Kim declared a fight, asserting her readiness to use all available resources to prevent any further release. This came for their Oh. This is my traveling coach vibes. I like your traveling coach vibes. Wait, did you just get here? I thought you were already here. Um, In New York. I had to go to L.A. and come back. Oh. So I just traveled to get something for Kim. You went all the way to L.A. to get something for Kim? Mm -hmm. You're something else. What did you get? Well, that's what she wants to show you. Oh. He got me all of this tape back. It's a hard drive. And I went with Ray J at the airport and got it all back for me. Oh, Kim. Oh, my God. Dramatic twist in the third episode, Kanye West returned a computer containing what he claimed was the original tape footage to Kim. Following this episode, Ray J publicly challenged the show's portrayal of the events surrounding the tape. According to Ray J, he had initially proposed the idea to Kim in a joking manner, but Kris Jenner seized the opportunity and managed the deal. Guys. Yeah, you're standing. Because I was just going to cry, so I didn't want Don't to cry. cry. But I can cry, so. Yeah, you guys need to So Kanye flew home last night. And he came back this morning. I want to show you guys what he got me. Gorgeous. <laughs> Gorgeous. <laughs> Chris Jenner orchestrated the tape leak, and it proved successful for her as evidenced by the Kardashian siblings' thriving ventures today. That's it for today. See you in the next video.